little nugget children and I am back with another video recently I have decided to go beanie boo shopping at the mall unfortunately my hunt for beanie boos was let's just say not the best it seems like anymore beanie boos are going a bit out of style well, they ain't actually going out of style a lot of people have beanie boos but a lot of stores are no, are no longer selling Beanie Boos. For instance, in any of the clips I wanted to take, Claire's had absolutely zero Beanie Boos, not a single one. And when I said that Claire didn't have a single Beanie Boo, I mean Claire's did not have a single Beanie Boo. And unfortunately, I think some of y'all have already known this, since I did post about it inside my community tab, that Candy Craze, my main go-to store, has closed down in Florence Mall. Now, why Candy Craze shut down, I have absolutely no idea. I'm thinking it has something to do with COVID-19 and the economy for them crashing. I do know that Candy Craze did not have that big of a business in the mall since most of their candy was still there, obviously because they also had to restock, but it's also just because, think of it, dude, when a pandemic hits and no one's really at the mall because they all fear getting COVID-19, then yeah, your small little baby business that just sells candy and beanie boos is going to crash majorly. But that is just my theory. But I did manage to take some clips of me at the mall, so... So, yeah, they're not really anything impressive, but I did try, so here are those clips. Before I headed to the mall, I decided to stop at the bookstore, aka Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble is right across the street from the mall, so going there was very simple, and they seem to have a ton of Beanie Boos in store. Oh my gosh. And here I even found Phoenix. Phoenix is so cute. She's one of my favorite foxes out of the entire collection. And I also found this cute little platypus, although I'm not going to get it because it does look a bit weird. And I did find this cute little fox. And look, it's Lainey. And as I continued my search, I did end up finding this cute little sloth with a horn on it. I have no idea what its name is, but it's not really my style, so I didn't really get it. Then right here, I found this cursed item. It's almost just as bad as the giraffe poodle. Oh my goodness. How did the mating process even start? This thing is absolute nightmare fuel. Now, the main purpose for me being here at Barnes & Noble was because I was looking for the Beanie Boo Fae, which I do not have. And then here I also found Kiki. She's so cute, but I don't really like the hardened bow. And I did also find another Phoenix. There was only two, I believe. And since Phoenix is just so cute, I did decide to put her at the very, very top because everyone needs to get her. Am I right? Now, going back over to Kiki, I do have one little problem with her is that I just don't like her bow. Why on earth did they make her a hard glitter bow? Oh my gosh, T.Y., please come up with original ideas. And oh my gosh, I think I made a mess. So I did decide to pick back up the beanie boos that were on the floor. So my bad. We finally made it over to the mall and I'm here in Hallmark and here I found Atlas, aka Atlantis in my book. And I also found Lacey. <coughs> I mean, <coughs> Livy. I'm so sorry. And here is her tag. Oh, she is just so cute and so original. Oh, gosh. But no, seriously, I do have a problem with them. And here we have this cute little flippable zebra. She is cute, but I don't have her yet. And I don't know if I'm ever going to get her. And here I have this little baby owl. And I do have this one in my collection. So no, I did not get it. And we did spot another Lainey. Hello there, Lainey. Here's a double of you. And this cute little purple owl. I don't know if I have it or not, but I'm not really sure. And here we have three more Laineys and this little checkered owl. And yeah, that's Hallmark. And here we're back at Atlas. And honestly, I think the thing that I really have a problem with Atlas is that she is just like Piper. Like, oh my goodness, T.Y. What are you thinking? I mean, if you compare Piper and Atlas, they are honestly the exact same Beanie Boo, except Atlas has hardcore glitter and these sparkles and a wolf tail. They basically made Piper into a wolf, which is so unoriginal. T.Y., why do you do this? 
we take a look at Livy, she is literally lacy. There is absolutely zero difference. And T.Y. is making this into a very bad habit of repetition. But don't think that I did not complain to the head of the store about T.Y. Because honestly, I needed to rant. And then we headed over to JCPenney where we saw this really hot mannequin. Like, oh my god, I could date him, honestly. And here we found me some really cute sandals. I really did need some more. And this is what they look like. They're so cute and I highly recommend them. They were also really, really comfy. And here is my face because I did go to the church that day. So yes, I was very dressed up. But I really do like these sandals. Here are my original shoes. There are just some um, high heels. And then here is Candy Craze. Look how dead it is. Oh my gosh, I miss it so much. And then over inside of JCPenney, this is where they used to have all their Beanie Boos. But, you know, they finally cleaned out the toy section so much to where they got rid of all the Beanie Boos. And now I'm walking out of the store with Atlantis. And she is just so cute. Although, you know what? She looks a lot like paper. So, yeah. And then I had to get into the car and we decided to drive all the way home. And, you know, Atlantis wanted to drive, but Beanie Boos can't drive. So get off my dash. And then we have this little clip of me driving. Getting ready to head on the highway. Yeah. Hope she doesn't crash and kill us both, along with everyone else on the road. <laughs> but, man, she's actually up to speed already, too. Good job. All right. Yeah, hitting cicadas. Okay. My life is in your hands. So long for now. The highway was a total bust. Stop and start. So I am teaching Susan here the fine art of weaseling and scum sucking drivers. <laughs> Learn the back roads. The guy, that it's, the, off. Yeah, it's the only way to go. <laughs> Till next time. Up, we decided to stop at Speedway and as I was recording this the guy right next to me was just staring at me like why is there a 17 year old with a toy oh my god and then Atlantis tried to drive again but Beanie Boos cannot drive so please get it off my dash now that we are back from the mall it is time to review what we got Right here, I'm going to just give my own personal opinions about Atlas. Now, you don't need to really agree with these opinions. It's completely fine if you did not agree with mine, but, but please don't go leaving any hate comments just because I do not like the Beanie Boo that you do. If I'm honest, do I hate this Beanie Boo? Actually, no. No, I do not. I actually do find the Beanie Boo very appealing and very, very cute. The only problem that I have with it is that it is literally Piper. If the Beanie Boo was not a remake of Piper and was not just Piper with eyelashes and then turned into a wolf, then I would absolutely have zero problem with this idea of a Beanie Boo. Now, for people that have actually done their research and have been inside the community for a very, very long time, I've already known that T.Y. has been doing this for a while, but they only just started redoing it recently when they started making brand new Beanie Boos that looked exactly the same as old Beanie Boos. More examples of them doing this is Prince and Skylar, Piper and Atlas, Rainbow and Athena, Pixie and Pixie, Kiwi and Willow, and Duchess and Cancun. All of the Beanie Boos I have just now mentioned are identical to one another. Prince and Skylar are a little bit different, and Rainbow and Athena are just a tad bit different. Only thing that Rainbow does not have wings, and Athena does. But don't worry, it's not just Piper. Remember, it is also Lacey and Livy. They are literally the exact same Beanie Boo. And do not forget Amea and Fiona. They are the exact same. They just have different names for some reason. I do not know what makes T.Y. think that this is a really good idea. I think it's because most of their community are just itty bitty kids that they know they can easily manipulate and think that, oh, this is a brand new Beanie Boo because most of you do not have the original. But I am just going to say this right now. I do suggest getting Piper while you still can and other Beanie Boos like Amea and Lacey before they are gone. Because just like Duchess and Cancun and Kiki and Willow, I bet you any money that Piper and Lacey and Fiona, they will all go out of stock. These three Beanie Boos might actually become rare. So I do suggest going to your store or going online just to find them. Now, I have no idea if Piper or Lacey or Amea will retire since there are new versions of them, but you never know, so it is very, very good to go get yourself a new one. 
Piper is actually a very, very new Beanie Boo, so I am honestly surprised that they came up with a clone this quickly. It's only been about two years. I think TY really does need to just step up their game and hire some newer people that actually know what creativity is. Because honestly, I think that all their staff really cares about right now is money, money, money from the itty bitty kids that, have, that don't know any better. A good solution would to honestly hire a few furries. Have you seen the creative ideas that we come up with? I do feel like if more furries and more creative minds were hired into TY, TY Inc. would actually have a really, really good business and economy on their hands. It's weird because TY actually did make a post on their Instagram asking for ideas and custom Beanie Boos that they can make into actual Beanie Boos, but here we are, we're not getting them, and we haven't heard anything about that post. Should even try start asking Beanie Boo customizers like myself, because honestly, we come up with so many creative ideas, and we are able to make Beanie Boos that everyone loves and wants. For example, everyone wants to buy Gambit because Gambit is just such a cute and unique Beanie Boo that is a fox that no one has ever seen before because our colors are just so vibrant and unique. I actually know people that customize Beanie Boos and I am very impressed with what they come up with and I believe that TY can highly benefit if they were to ask us for our opinions in like DMs on Instagram or whatever. I am the biggest Beanie Boo customizer that there is on the internet right now for Beanie Boos. So I do believe that they would also benefit from probably asking me a few questions or asking some of my friends. Because some of my friends are so good at Beanie Boo customizing. But sadly, here we are with TY right now making remakes. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of the 2021 Beanie Boos, like the puppy, those are just so cute. I also love the purple cat because those are kind of original. They're not remakes of old Beanie Boos, Cough Cough, Piper, and Lacey. But I do feel like they could just benefit from asking a few more opinions and actually taking them into consideration. But anyways, that is all that I have for today's video. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. So, I got some big, 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 big news. Please not leave yet, dude. I'm not done yet, and it is actually very, very important for those who want the merch. I am starting Redbubble! If you guys don't know what Redbubble is, it is basically a selling app for art. Which means I can put drawings of Gambit, like my banner or my profile picture, on t-shirts, mugs, pillows, stickers, phone cases, everything! I already have my profile picture on Redbubble and you know it sounds like a product and it is already on mugs and t-shirts and sweaters and blah, blah 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 although some of the items look very very weird because I could not make it like backgroundless like the photo has like a white background I don't know how to get rid of it but yeah I have Redbubble and my link will be down in the description so please go check that out warning though the stuff is very very pricey why? Because I did not set the price. I don't set the price. Redbubble does, okay? So yeah, go check that out. I will be trying to update it. But maybe not this weekend because I will be busy and I will be out of town. So yeah, so far there's only one item. And I don't know, you guys might not be able to buy anything just yet. But I will let you know when you guys can buy stuff. And when everything is done and settled for you guys to actually get stuff off there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.